Good morning, Coach Thompson. You obviously added two tight ends to your room via the transfer portal. What have you learned about those two guys over the past 10 weeks as you've been able to be more hands-on with them? You know, what I've learned about those guys is just watching them work uh, and, and the drill work and the, and the tour of duty stuff. Uh, they, you know, they both uh, are serious about, you know, every day getting better. They have a, they have a, a real business mindset about what they do. Uh, and then learning the offense, you know, coming in on their own, spending, uh, you know, volunteer time where, where they're where they're coming in, grabbing me or other coaches, saying, "Hey, I got a question about this. I got a question about that." So, you know, both uh, on the field and the in the tour duty stuff, uh, and then and then just learning the system. You know, the guys have worked really hard. Been really impressed with their work ethic. You've always talked a lot about liking tight ends that can do a multitude of things, a variety of things. Jaheim Bell is a guy described as a Swiss Army knife. What does he bring to the position from a versatility standpoint? He just, you know, the ability to line up in the backfield or in the slot, uh, those are kind of his two primary areas, but he can line up out wide, he can uh, attach, he can do, um, you know, really play all those positions because he, he understands that he's a smart guy and, uh, and can put it all together, you know, from a mental standpoint. So, um, you know, he just he just has a different skill set um, than, than a lot of other guys, and, and we'll try to utilize that in as many ways as possible. With Kyle Morlock making a jump from shorter to here, is that something that spring will help him kind of get into the groove of being more comfortable with an elevated level of play? And also just what does Kyle bring to the field? Yeah, he's he's got a lot of versatility as well. He can I think he can line up in all the spots uh, as well, like some of the guys here have done in the past. And, um, you know, I think spring ball will be great, just like any any transfer. You know, in, in the past you had more probably junior college transfer type guys coming in and, and acclimating. I think it's a similar type process, just uh, you know a little bit different with the speed of the game and stuff like that. But I don't expect him to have any problem adjusting to it. I think he'll do really well. With Douglas, Daniel, two guys that very well developed in their roles. Douglas took a major step last season. What's the next step for each of them as they continue to evolve into position for you guys? You know, that's that's been the other part of the offseason, watching those guys come back, you know, after after you've had a full year of, you know, playing a lot of football and, and, and now you're kind of able to go back and refine some of the things that you're doing in the offense. Those guys have got a greater understanding of the offensive system uh, and also the fundamentals, the techniques that, that go along with it. And they've, they've both taken a huge step in those ways. They've worked extremely hard. Uh, you know, Mark Easton's worked really hard in, in the offseason program. He's gotten stronger, bigger. You know, the strength staff's done a great job with him. Preston has reshaped his body. Like, he's uh, he's worked extremely hard with the nutrition side, the strength, with the strength staff. Uh, he's actually, you know, worked hard on the sleep aspect of things. Like, he's trying to maximize every uh, area of what he's doing. So those guys have, have improved a lot and taken big steps in the last couple of months since the season's been over. And, uh, you know, excited about those guys as well going into spring. Jackson West is a guy you were excited when you added him. He's obviously gone through some issues with injuries, including a lower extremity injury last year. Uh, for Jackson, just how important is it for him to get back out there, get back into the groove of it, take the coaching? Because obviously his development's been stymied from a physical standpoint. Yeah, it's uh, that's going to be huge if, if we can get him out there in the spring, get him, you know, get him back going. And, uh, you know, one, one thing he's done a really good job of, he's he's maximized the, the weight room really well, the things that he can do. He looks totally different. He's, he's a, you know, probably put on 10, 12 pounds at least of just muscle mass in his upper body, uh, a very physical guy. Um, and he's taking a real leadership, ownership role in trying to coach some of the younger guys on the offensive system, you know, and, and, and contributed in that way. But, you know, we want to get him back out there soon and, and get him going. He brings such a physical presence to what we have. Jarrell Powers, redshirted last year, was moving from being a receiver to a tight end. How has that transition gone? How has his body changed? He's noticeably bigger. And just what can he bring to the group as he continues to get more and more ingrained into the college game? Yeah, he's uh, – He's a dynamic mover as well. I mean, he really he gets in and out of breaks. He can run. He's added a lot of muscle mass. The strength staff's been very happy with the work he's put in. And he pushed himself hard in, in the tour of duty. Like, he strained his body every day. Like, he's he's done a great job. Um, he's he's still learning the system because he came in in June. He's only, he hasn't even been here a full year yet. But 
he's starting to get more comfortable with it. You know, our guys just line up in so many different spots that it's challenging uh, from that aspect. And then, and then you have to put together all the fundamentals that go with that. But he's done a great job. Um, and, and spring ball would be huge for him, and, and I think he'll factor in there and compete really well. With the O-line being improved, how much does that free your group up to do a little bit more down the field, maybe show a little bit more versatility, flexibility within the offensive attack with so many weapons around them? Well, you know, the, the old saying, it all starts up front with the offensive line. It really does. I mean, obviously you have to protect well uh, to get the ball downfield and do the things that we want to do. And, you know, those guys have taken – great steps every year. Coach Ack has done a great job with the uh, with the personnel, uh, but also the development of the personnel. And, uh, and so, you know, when, when that improves like it has, obviously Jordan's more comfortable. He can get the ball down the field. And then, you know, the run game obviously sets all that up with the play action stuff. So it really does. I mean, those guys are the engine. That, that drive everything and, and their improvement. You know, they're, they're the same way. You see all the old guys that have come back and making improvement, making strides, but you see the new players that we've added are all going to bring a lot of value. So we're excited about that group just like the rest of the groups.